Hey everyone, I'm Amanda from Maine Inland Plans. Welcome back to another video. Today we have a fountain pen specific video. It has been years since I started my fountain pen series and I'm wanting to start doing more videos specific to fountain pens. I'm seeing more new faces to the fountain pen planner community. And so I wanted to share with you about my ink. I will have more videos coming about pens and how to clean and refill and all of that. But today I wanted to show you my ink collection. And here specifically, I wanted to show you how I store and keep my ink samples and just a brief history. So I started bullet journaling in 2018 and that is when I found fountain pens and I have been using fountain pens ever since. This is my very first bullet journal in 2018. Fast forward, now I use a Hobonichi Cousin and I use fountain pens in my spreads to go along with my stickers. And I love changing out my fountain pen ink, usually every week or every other week, but I wanted to share with you about my fountain pen samples. So these are test tube racks where I keep the samples that I purchase mostly from Goulet pens. These are great and these hold 50. I think Goulet has some branded specific ones. I just got these off Amazon and I will link it down below. A really great way to try out new inks is by ink samples. So you don't have to buy a whole bottle. I do have several bottles, but most of my collection is ink samples and you can get um, either two ounce or sometimes four ounces of ink and that will get me a long way. Like I said, I like to swap out my ink every week if I can. So you may notice I have these more or less in kind of a rainbow order and that goes along with my ink swatches. I tried to keep them in the same order so that I can find quickly what I'm looking for. These are little sheets of Tomoe River paper that I cut down to baseball card size and then I have slipped into these baseball protector slips and I have them front and back. I thought I might just flip through here with you. This is as far back as I can zoom out, so you have to bear with me, but I like to collect a wide variety of different colors and brands, some shimmer, some sheen, some color changing, some waterproof, some eternal. There's all kinds of different properties of ink, and I can do a whole nother video explaining all the terms and the different properties of fountain pen ink. But today I just wanted to give you a quick overview of my collection. Normally in my plan with me videos or on my social media, I try and have several fountain pen inks for you to choose for me to use in my spreads. And so that has been really fun for me. So I know the next question is, well, how do you change it out every single week? Well, I, this is a clean pen and this is a Twisby Eco and I'm actually ready to ink up Lady Rose, it should be this one. Yep, Lady Rose by Ferris Wheel Press for my next week of ink to go with my spread for the week. Normally, like I said, I have a vote, but there was actually only one ink that went with these muted colors. Most of the fountain pen inks are bright and bold. So here I have my little ink sample. I have a clean pen and what I will do is just open it up and kind of tilt it slightly, put some in. I'm not gonna fill the whole thing because like I said, it's just for one week. And then you can see there's ink sloshing around in there. That is the Lady Rose. Let's just dab the nib a little bit to make sure that that excess is off. And then we are ready to write. Now, let's pretend like it's been a week and I'm ready to clean out my pen. I'm not going to just dump all of this down the sink because that is still some ink goodness in there. So I am going to expel my ink back out, get most of it out, because then I don't have very much waste. So I'm just kind of going up and down and most of it is out now. And now I just have to clean out this little bit that's left in my pen. So there is a little bit of waste each week, but I'm not wasting a whole pen full of ink every single week whenever I do this. I know I have gotten a lot of questions about that in the past. If you have any more questions or video ideas that you would like to see in this updated fountain pen series, be sure to leave them in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.